Let's talk about the woke movement, about being woke. The woke movement comes from a collective shadow of disempowerment and victimization. I believe the woke movement started in both good and bad faith. There were people who truly wanted to help and create opportunities for others in a safe environment, maybe one that they didn't have when they were younger or starting out. And then there are people who always wanted to use it for career ascents. The people who uphold these ideologies in good faith are likely acting out of a wound they feel where at some point in their young lives they were victimized, disempowered, or made to feel less than, and they don't want that for others. Great. And then there are the people who push these narratives for career ends. They're being exploitative, just like the people they're accusing. And on some level, because they believe they're not good enough, they're not skilled enough, they're not talented enough, or some other scarcity mindset that they cannot get where they want to get or get what they want uh, without using this without blaming other people, without <laughs> basically throwing out other people under the bus and finding out what's wrong with them so that they can make, hey, oh, you, you lost your job? That's convenient because I wanted it. You're a bad boy? Well, I'll replace you. I'm great. <laughs> and somewhere in between are a lot of people who didn't want to rock the boat or have a lot of fear about being caught up in the crossfire and losing their livelihood, their friends, their passions, maybe their spouse or whatever. And so they stay silent. And then there are people in the middle who are empathetic and care about other people's feelings and want to do the right thing. And that's beautiful. But they're often acting out of the fear that if they don't go along with things, that they're bad. They're responsible for something bad happening to another person. They're evil or they're just straight up guilty. Maybe they have like some old wound that are not even conscious of where they did something bad when they were younger and they're holding on to this feeling. And so they have to overcorrect for it in their adulthood. And then there are the people like me who've been shouting from the treetops that this is insanity for a decade because when I was younger, I was frequently shamed for being different, a bratty loudmouth, often offending people in doing so, misinterpreted, misunderstood all the time. And every single person, including myself, have been acting out of an unhealed wound, a personality trap, a fear, a limiting belief. The problem with all of this is that it's created a massive collective shadow. In trying to correct past wrongs, the collective has created a whole new set of wrongs to in the opposite direction, but employing the exact same tactics as the people that they allege to oppose. And when the shadow gets big enough, shit is going to get really fucking wild. And the shadow is pretty damn big at this point. And when the pendulum swings too far in one direction, is going to snap back at full force in the opposite direction. And are you ready for that, honey? <laughs> so what can you do? Stop living in fear and going along with the consensus. If you think something is messed up, listen to your heart, not your wounds. Don't act out of guilt, shame, fear, or feeling like you're a bad person if you don't do or agree with X, Y, Z. Who you are underneath all of that and underneath... Most of us all want the same thing. We all want to feel loved, seen, and like we're good enough. Allow yourself to feel those things. And when you heal yourself, you heal the collective.